Hey guys, Scott Football here, back with another video. Today's video is League 1 and League 2 plus Barrow promoted, confirmed. So basically going to be a video on League 1 and League 2 promotion and relegation and, and plus Barrow have been promoted from the National League to get their EFL spot. So basically going to be a video on what I know so far. I think the only thing I don't know so far is um, the, the playoff, who will... Who will come up in the playoffs for um, the National League? Who will will there be a playoff spot decided this season or not? So, I hope everyone is doing great and did enjoy the Villa Sheffield United game last night and also Manchester City versus Arsenal where Aston Villa drew 0 0 to Sheffield United and Man City beat 10 men Arsenal 3 0. Well, well, Sheffield United goal didn't get allowed. Goal line, goal line technology failed to give um, Sheffield United their goal, which quite clearly went across the line. Well, I don't really want to say this, right? No disrespect to Sheffield United because they're a great, Chris Wilder's a great manager, a great team. They didn't really sew up yesterday, and I thought Villa was actually the better team. I, said, I don't really want to say it, but and I hate Villa that much. I, I think they actually were the better team, so fair play to them. Also, David Weeze got sent off for Arsenal yesterday and um, that Gracia, that young 19 year old youngster defender for Manchester City collided with Edison who was in hospital last night and he, and luckily now it's good he's been released so I hope he gets better and hope he does not doesn't find himself in that same situation again so then let's get into the video then right League 1 promotion um Co Coventry City top of the Coventry City have won the title and Rotherham United second place. Now League League Two promotion is Swindon Town, Alexandra and Plymouth Argyle. Right, let me let me move on to League One relegation, which is Tramir Rovers, Southend United and Bolton Wanderers. I do feel sorry for Bolton Wanderers because they used to be playing, t they used to be playing Atletico Madrid on European nights in Spain. They took 5,000 fans there. With all fairness, Bolton Wanderers always had a good away following behind them. Home is pretty average, you're not great at home, but away, away fans are absolutely class. They've probably got, this season, probably, they've probably had the top five away fans this season. Sunderland were the best away fans and Ports. Sunderland and Ports were then pretty Bolton then. Right, League Two, League Two relegation. Relegation. Stevenage. Well, Stevenage might actually stay up in League Two now because apparently, Macclesfield have had so many point deductions over their financial problems and for failing to fulfil two games against Plymouth and Crewe, who are. Who have been automatically promoted now to League One, League One, and and he failed to pay players' wages and staff wages on time. And then Macclesfield Town have complained, a complaint to how the EFL have treated them apparently. Which uh, I don't think the EFL are doing as much as they possibly can. And the owners and the owner at Macclesfield is it you? They're just putting no money into the club and they're failing to pay these things on time. I do feel sorry for McInfield for a degree, to a degree where you got McInfield on one hand saying it's not fair how the EFL has treated us and we think we should, get, say, we should stay up and we got an owner that is not putting any money into the club. And then Stephen is saying, that owner is saying for action, action to be taken against McInfield Town over their problems and point deductions but at the same time the Stephen is owner did chairman or owner did say it's their fault that they got themselves into that position well at least he'd been honest about it not many owners would be honest would they right let's move on to league let me move on to league one and league two playoff positions positions that have been confirmed as league two playoffs the first legs are being played tonight between Exeter and Colchester and Cheltenham and Northampton. League One playoff places, these are the ones that have been confirmed. Wickham Wanderers, 
Oxford City, Portsmouth and Fleetwood. So Peterborough and Sunderland, Peter and Sunderland fall out of the playoffs. Well, Peterborough were in the playoffs and Wickham were in seventh, but over the vote over points per game and stuff and how many goals are like scored, Wickham won the vote over Sunderland and Peterborough. Now, the Peterborough owner is having a massive whine about it that Friday. He's like 70, which is a massive achievement to be an owner at 70 years old. So fair play to their owners, uh, Peterborough. But it shouldn't be complaining all the time. What's been done is done. Well, I, I'm totally on Peterborough's side. I do agree that is a little bit harsh on them because he had, had have had a good season. And Ivan Tony is said even Tony is their top scorer. So that's proven something, hasn't it? Sorry. League two, um, also, let me move on to Fleetwood really quickly. It's nice to see Fleetwood have got in there because they used to be in in non-league football and Vard Jamie Vardy used to play for them. He used to be a non-league footballer. Right, the League two playoff places which have been confer confirmed now. Exeter City, Cheltenham, Cheltenham Town, Colchester United and Northampton Town. Well, Plymouth Argyle have been promoted, but what's nice to see is their Devon rivals are in the are in the playoffs, which is quite nice to see. Or oh, Colchester are looking to go back up to League into League One because they've been down in League Two for a couple of seasons. I think the favourites in my person, the favourites in League One, would the favourites in League One would have to be probably. Um, through Portsmouth probably and the favourites in League 2 to win the playoffs will probably have to be for me probably have to be Colchester probably fair play to the rest of the team but I just think Colchester might win, win it because I actually want Cheltenham to win it actually I mean Cheltenham or Exeter uh, I think Colchester might look like the favourites because they've been down in League 2 for a couple of seasons now and obviously they want to get back in there but Cheltenham used to be in National League, so fair play to them. And their rivals, Forest Green Rovers, finished in 10th place this year, so they weren't too far off either. Right, then we move on to the National League spot. That has been all over Sky Sports and the radio recently. And the National League title has been won by Barrow, so in the vote, Barrow have got their ear foul spot for the first time in about 57 years, I believe, so... Best of luck to them in League 2. I don't know if the playoff place for National League will be confirmed or not yet. But um, if I do if I do hear any more, I will um, let you know. And next, in July, from the 3rd to 6th of July, um, the playoffs are being played. I think um, in their own League 2, Exeter play Exeter play Colchester and Cheltenham play Northampton Town. Then I think Oxford I can't remember the League Two games. I don't let me one second, let me just have a look guys. I just got flash scores. I, I I use an app called Flash Scores. Really really recommended app to everyone in my personal opinion. Also, one football's quite a good app as well, which I found to myself. I thought I'd give that a try. The League One games that have been confirmed are in the, the League Two playoffs games are Portsmouth versus Oxford United and Fleetwood versus Wick Wickham Wanderers. So, the first leg of the League One playoffs games are on the third of July, and then the second leg games are on the sixth of July. They just go on to League Two now, and I'll quick look at that for you in the games, to make just to make sure. Colchester United play Exeter City. Northampton Town play Cheltenham. Northampton Town play Cheltenham. First leg is first legs are tonight, and then on the twenty second of June, that's when the next legs are played. Right, we're at the end of the video now. So if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe. The like target today is five likes again. I'm going to go five again. I think that is possible to hit again. Somehow I said seven. Um, the, uh, we got seven likes on the one video, but that wasn't true. It's technically it was actually four. 
I think I just found it on another channel. I wish it was seven likes though. So I saw we'll hit it eventually. I think the highest amount of likes on the video is about ten I think, so that's ten still a good achievement. I think I'm doing quite well on my channel, bearing in mind I've only been doing it for at least two months. Three two months and a half now. Two and a half months. Right, um I'll see you in the next video where I'll be hoping to do some more Premier League predictions and and I might be bringing out um, a prediction video on the championship predictions tomorrow. Depends on if I feel up to it or or championship is just or at times I think the championship is just too unpredictable. So I'm thinking of not doing it. Well, oh bye bye everyone. If you are watching the League Two playoffs tonight, uh, any Exeter, Colchester, Northampton, Cheltenham fans out there, best of luck to all your teams out there. Stick.